Joanna says she doesn't want to suffer another broken heart. Aww. Joanna, what's going on? Well, I've not had the best luck with love, like, at oh. all. So, yeah. I met this guy named Tyler, and he kind of took me underneath his wing, you know? Yes. He had told me he loved me very much, and, you know, to feel that secure and safe that I, I can sleep at night is just been the most amazing safe feeling that I've ever had. Now, why are you here? What's the problem? Well, a few weeks ago, he told me he was going to a job interview. Yes. And, you know, he said he was, it was very big business and stuff, so he needed to turn his phone off, and, you know, he needed to be left alone. So, you know, for his privacy and stuff like that, I just, you know, I trusted him and I let him go. Well, later on that day, I heard from one of my girlfriends that he was at Chipotle eating with another girl. Oh, strange place to have an interview. Yes, yes. it is. Yeah. Very strange. Oh. And um, so I confronted him about it. I said, you know, what is this about? And he's like, I never cheated on you. And I was like, I never asked you if you cheated on me. Yeah. I asked you what it's about. Yeah, why did you say you yeah. go in an interview and you wind up with another woman at Chipotle? Right. Yes. Got it. All right, so you're here to find out if he's faithful to you. Yes. Because you do love him. I do. I really do. Okay. What's his name? Tyler? Tyler. Here's yep. Tyler. All right. So I'm here to tell you that I don't really want to be with you. I, I don't love you either. And I want you to move out. And I also wanted to tell you that I did cheat on you and had sex with your best friend, Alyssa. Alyssa? My cousin's girlfriend? Yeah. Well, I had met her at Chipotle, where I did say I was going to fill out an application and have my interview. And you know how I like to smoke blunts every day. Well, <laughs> I had... Do they sell those at Chipotle? <laughs> Apparently, Jerry. Yeah. I had actually taken her on a ride with me back to the house, and we were smoking a blunt on the way. And when we got to the house, we had started kissing, and then that's when it happened. After all, like, seriously? You want to engage, like, propose to me, and then say, like, you love me and all this other stuff, but yet you go sleep with my best friend. That's pathetic, Tyler. Why did you originally say that you loved her? I mean... I mean, you can love who you want, but if you don't really love her, why would you tell her that? I kind of felt bad for her, so that's the reason why I let her move in. You realized that I had such a bad past, and I trusted you with everything that I had. You know that I've always been cheated on, and I've always been hurt. And then to feel like you actually love me, and you don't, grow up. Yeah. Yeah. Who who is Jake? Jake is my cousin. Oh, so it was your cousin Jake's girlfriend, girlfriend. that you yep. messed with. All right, well, here's uh, your cousin Jake. Stand up. You ain't gonna cheat, you ain't gonna cheat on my cousin, man, with my girlfriend while she's at work? Yeah. That's I... real messed up, man. I know we, we really ain't cool, but still, you gotta respect the bro code, man. <laughs> he ain't no bros. Man. You know, I, I'm the one who took Alyssa's virginity, man. I'm the only one she's ever slept with, man. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> you realize, Tyler, that this is my family. Oh. You understand why everybody's mad at you. You know, you tell her you love her. And it's not just because you feel sorry, but you don't tell a woman you love her just because you feel sorry. You can say, hey, how can I help you out? You know, I'll be your friend, whatever, but... Okay, so you did that, and then you messed up 
your relationship with your girlfriend, how long have you been going with her? Almost three years now. Oh. Well, why don't we bring her out? Here is Elisa. calls you a freaking homie hopper. Oh. He's just a neighborhood pothead. All I wanted was some weed. Really? Because all apparently you all, you gave him more than that, just that, and he gave you more than just weed. All right, what do you want to say to her, to your girlfriend? I don't have nothing to say to her, really. I love her to death, but I don't know why she would do me like that. After all the things I've done for her, it just don't make no sense to me. I mm. truly love this woman, but not no more. This is, you, you done with him or he's done? Or, or... I'm done. And you're, you're done with her? Yeah, yeah. We'll be back. <laughs>